What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about the top 10 greatest Brits of all time. Now, you may be asking, how the heck do you actually come up with a fair, accurate list of the top 10 greatest Brits of all time? There's been a lot of great Brits throughout history, old history, modern history. How do you come up with that? Well, today, I found out that there's actually been an attempt to do this already in Britain. A while back, in 2002, I found out, there was a television show called 100 Greatest Britons, a TV series broadcast by the BBC in 2002, where they basically conducted a television poll where the British people could vote on who they thought the top 100 greatest Brits of all time were. And they basically had a bunch of episodes where they featured famous people, and then, then the population got to, to vote on it. So that's what I'm going with today anyway. And even if there's a lot of lists out there with the greatest Brits, and there's probably a lot of a controversy in different orders you can place people. Today we're going with this, because we gotta go with something, and this seemed very, very interesting to me. Coming in at number 10, Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell. I have definitely heard that name before. I think at some point in my American education, they did attempt to teach me some of this stuff, uh, so I know this name, but goodness, I don't know who Oliver Cromwell actually was. Let me open this in another tab. Let's take a little look. Oliver Cromwell, born in 1599, was a politician and soldier, wildly, widely regarded as one of the most important statesmen in English history. Well, that probably makes sense for why he made this list then. Uh, came to prominence during the War of Three Kingdoms, sing senior commander, in the Parliamentary and Army, leading advocate for the execution of Charles I in 1649, led to the establishment of the Protectorate? The Pro... which is the Commonwealth of England, Scotland, and Ireland. Okay, so this... I mean, <laughs> literally when you accomplish that kind of thing, like the foundation of Britain, you eat instantly get to be on this list of the top 10. So that actually makes a ton of sense. All right, number nine, we have Horatio Nelson. I have not heard of Horatio Nelson. Now I'm wondering if all of, if all these uh, top 10 Brits of all time are gonna be these huge monumental historical figures, these British historical figures. Like I was wondering how modern we're gonna get with some of these these uh, people who were submitted to the top 10, but we'll see. Horatio Nelson, 1758. This is a name I actually don't know. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say. Oh, was a British flag officer in the Royal Navy. His inspirational leadership, grasp of strategy, and unconventional tactics brought out a number of decisive British naval victories during the French Revolution and Napoleonic Wars. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest naval commanders in history. Oh, wow, I bet it would be fascinating to actually study this person. Wow, one of the greatest naval commanders. Like, is that in terms of strategy? Obviously had a lot of victories and a huge part in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. I'm actually, I'm desperately trying to like rem remember some of this, let it like sink in. This is like school again. And I feel like since this is the top 10 list, I actually have to, I wanna remember a lot of this. So this is good stuff. Horatio Nelson, nice, was significant in preventing Napoleon's planned invasion of the United Kingdom. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is making a lot of sense why these, these uh, old politicians and commanders, like they really do deserve to be on this list. Number eight, John Lennon. Okay, finally, someone I've actually heard of. Thank you. Someone I actually know. Um, obviously, this doesn't surprise me. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me one bit. Although, why John Lennon uh, instead of Paul McCartney or the Beatles as a group? John Lennon in particular? I guess it is. Is it 
because he is deceased? Does that have something to do with him making the list? I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's more Beatles on the top ten. I don't know. But pop rock singer, songwriter, musician, activist, member of the Beatles. One of the most famous, successful, influential, covered, and admired pop artists of all time. Hailed for his highly personal and experimental music. Yeah, he did have that whole solo, like lots of solo work as well, which have become pretty famous. Yeah, John Lennon, like... I don't, I didn't know the first two, although I had heard of, uh, I had heard of Oliver Cromwell, but most Americans are well aware of the Beatles, aware of John Lennon. A lot of people have John Lennon posters hanging in their houses, like, especially music fans of any sort. So this, in terms of an individual who has quite literally touched the lives of most people that are into music, now in the modern day, in 2023, like someone who has influenced people in the modern day, this makes total sense. Like, John, it's John Lennon, for crying out loud. Like, that, that kind of speaks for itself. I, I, I totally get it. Number seven, Elizabeth I. This makes sense. This makes a lot of sense. Elizabeth I, Queen of England and Ireland in 1558, brought a period of relative internal stability that led England to victory over the Spanish Armada. Her reign was known as the Eliz Elizabethan Era. Yes, we are definitely taught all about this in American history as well. All about this. Um, anything else referred to as the Virgin Queen, right? Last monarch of the House of Tudor. Yep, yep. Daughter of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn? Yeah, yeah. I mean, her, her portrait, like her look, is even iconic. Like, there are freaking television shows all about this stuff that are very popular now. So, uh, coming in at number seven, that I totally get that as well. Uh, right in line with some of these other historical figures, Oliver Cromwell, Horatio Nelson, Elizabeth I, yeah. All right, number six, Isaac Newton. There we go. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to be honest. I actually didn't know Isaac Newton was British. But I am learning right now. I'm not holding anything back. I'm not too embarrassed to admit I don't know things. Isaac Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, uh, obviously belongs on this list. Like, what do we got here in his description? Physicist, mathematician, astronomer, theologian, natural philosopher, originator of universal gravitation laws, laws of classical mechanics, and laws of motion. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, I am so... Mm. I am proud of the people of Britain for voting in Isaac Newton on this list. Number six, definite, I mean, come on, like, for crying out loud, like, one of the most influential figures in physics, mathematics, like, that stuff's important. I, I think I just like the diversity of the people on this list. Like, there's been queens, there's been politicians, a general, a musician, and now a physicist. I just like that there's some variety on this top 10 list. Very good. All right. Top five, we have William Shakespeare. Absolutely. Okay. I, I feel like from here on out, like five and above, I am really hoping I know all these people or I am going to be embarrassed. Not in a good way. William Shakespeare. Yes. One of uh, Britain, like probably the most famous author, writer, in history, uh, period. Poet and playwright, creator of Hamlet, Macbeth, Romeo, and Juliet. Yes, uh, thought of, of by many as the greatest of all English language writers. Greatest English language writer. Not English writer or British writer. Greatest writer to use the English language, definitely. Influential figure in theater, his plays have been performed more than any other playwright. Yeah. His work is praised for its humanity, diversity, psychological depth, countless new words and expressions, which he basically create like, built into existence by writing. Like, absolutely. William Shakespeare. <laughs> this, <laughs> it's funny. It's just like, these are, these so obviously belong on this list. I just like, am so bad at remembering historical figures i can't uh, couldn't have come up with this but as soon as i'm re i'm reading it it's like yeah isaac newton 
William Shakespeare. Good stuff. Very good. Number four, Charles Darwin. Okay, Biolo biologist, geologist, naturalist, and most importantly, originator of the theory of evolution through natural selection. Yeah, we are taught all about Charles, Charles Darwin in uh, our American biology classes. And make no mistake, all about William Shakespeare as well. I don't think I mentioned that. Yeah, Charles Darwin, is there anything else super noticeable? I might be a little surprised that Charles Darwin was voted above Shakespeare and Newton was Charles Darwin. I think that surprises me a bit, to be honest. Uh, it's hard to kind of quantify their contributions to humanity, but gosh, I don't know if I would have put Charles Darwin above many of the other people. Number four? Okay. Um, English naturalist, geologist, biologist, uh, came up with species having descended from common ancestors. It's a fundamental concept in science. Yeah, it's, don't get me wrong, it's very, very important, like, fundamental to biology, but is, is that more or less important than the fundamentals of physics by Isaac Newton and the fundamentals of, like, English literature by Shakespeare? I don't know. This is getting kind of tough. This is getting kind of tough. I'm not going to even say that I know what the best rankings would be. Let us move on to number three. Diana, Princess of Wales. See, this is where uh, I've heard of the Diana, um, but my knowledge on this matter, my knowledge on her is severely lacking, severely limited. Gosh, I could do a whole other video just learning about Diana. I feel like I'm one of, I feel like I'm actually one of, as far as Americans go, um, and maybe it's due to my age or my just lack of no wherewithal, but I feel like compared to most Americans, I actually know even less about Princess Diana than most Americans even and all that, but that's neither here nor there. She is number three, first wife of Charles III, mother of the Prince of Wales, Prince of Harry. I know she was very admired. It says here, admired for her philanthropic deeds. I know she was beloved. Um, her activism and glamour made her an international icon and earned her enduring popularity. Yes. Um, became engaged to Charles. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to go into too much detail on any of these people, but I feel like I just <laughs> I'm 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 resisting the urge to read Princess Diana's whole Wikipedia page cuz I've always wanted to learn more about her and her whole story, not just about her death, but about her life as well. But I think that's for another time. I know she was beloved. So, being number 3 on this list of top 10 Brits of all time. That just makes me even more curious now. Gosh, above Darwin, Newton, Shakespeare, Elizabeth I is Princess Diana. That says a lot. Wow. Okay, cool, cool. Number two, we have Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Isambard Kingdom Brunel. I didn't think there was going to be someone on this list that I had never heard of. So I am very surprised that at number two on our top ten list, we have an individual I have literally never heard the name of, Isambard. Let me open this up in a new tab. Let me take a look. What did he do? An English civil engineer and mechanical engineer who is considered one of the most ingenious and prolific figures in engineering history? One of the 19th century engineering giants. Wow, what a, what a boss. And one of the greatest figures in the Industrial Revolution? Groundbreaking designs, ingenious constructions? Wait, why don't I know about him? What the heck? Designs revolutionized public transport, modern engineering? Steamships? Bridges? Tunnels? Why don't I know about him? Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Brunel? Why the heck do I know, don't I know about him? What? This is blowing my mind. I'm so glad that I 
am learning about this today. What the heck? Uh, sounds like his contributions to, let's say, humanity, and especially during the Industrial Revolution, uh, revolutionizing public transport and engineering. I can actually see why he's number two. I can actually see that because if we're talking about contributions that like directly translated into like moving life forward and I don't know, maybe that's not way that the best way to put it, but contributions responsible for moving humanity forward, like physically and technologically, this sounds like someone who had an unfathomable impact on doing that, pushing technology forward in the 1800s. Wow. I'm just still shocked I haven't heard of him because when I, when I read his description there, he had a hand in revolutionizing transport and engineering bridges, tunnels. Like, I, I could almost do a whole video about him as well. I thought it was just going to be Diana, but Eisenbard Kingdom Brunel, I am assuming he's well known in Britain, but I've never, I'm kind of, I'm kind of annoyed. I'm kind of disappointed in the American education system. Why haven't I heard of him? Seems like something worth mentioning. Okay. And number one, we have Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. There you go. That's a name every American is familiar with. Although, surprising enough, I feel like a lot of Americans know his name because he is very famous, but don't exactly remember who he was or what he did. And maybe because he was a, a prime minister, like he wasn't a president of the United States. Like, I, I, I guess I'm justifying this by saying, I assume not all people in Britain know every major American president by memory. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but mo Americans know Winston Churchill's name. I just don't think they know everything he did or the impact he had during World War II. So historically, when, uh, let me read his thing here. Historically ranked as one of the greatest British prime ministers, led the nation during World War II, defended itself against a German invasion, important figure in the post-war national and international politics, Received the Nobel Prize in Literature. I didn't know that, actually. Winston Churchill. This is worth taking a little bit of a look at. Any other notes? Well, actually, it's not loading. No, Winston, where's your Wikipedia page? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Was a British statesman, soldier, writer, prime minister of the UK twice during the Second World War. Yeah. Ridiculous. Absolutely deserves number one. I totally understand this. Um, wow, Winston Churchill, and there you have it. I think the people of Britain in 2002 did a darn good job of voting on this list. Seriously. I think these are all, all 10 are individuals who are deceased, which is interesting. I was wondering how modern we were going to get with the greatest Brits in history throughout all of history. I guess it makes sense that it, there are so many that were influential throughout time that it's, it's no one, no one made it who's like currently living. So take that for what you will. Winston Churchill, Eisenbard, who I had never heard of. What the heck? Princess Diana, number three. Charles Darwin, number four. A little controversial. Shakespeare, Newton, Elizabeth I, John Lennon. Glad a musician made it in there. I mean, the Beatles, they had an impact on the world that's like intangible. Like, music is important in a different... In the same way that Shakespeare had an impact on the world, right? Like, it's the same way that musicians do. Um, Horatio Nelson, I had not heard of. Oliver Cromwell, I had heard of. Didn't remember him. But glad he snuck in there at number 10. Okay, very good. And again, uh, 100 Greatest Britons. Oh, if I scroll down here, it's probably the whole list. Yeah, here's the full list. Goes all the way to 100. Who's number 100? Mary Stopes, birth control promoter. Nice. Oh, man, there's a lot of people here. Tolkien, 92. Uh, Bono, 86. Richard Branson, 85. J.K. Rowling, 83. Oh, anything else interesting here? Jane Austen, 70. 
Uh, Charlie Chaplin, 66. George Harrison, 62. Another Beatle. Freddie Mercury, 58. Nice. Alexander Graham Bell, 57. Um, King Arthur, 51. King Arthur. Gosh. Uh, Charles Dickens, 41. I'm just reading people that I at least have heard of or are interesting to me. Um, I'm sure all these people are amazing. David Beckham, 33, a footballer. Okay. Guy Fox, 30, right? David Bowie, 29. Um, Queen Elizabeth II, 24. Paul McCartney, 19. There he is. He made it. Oh, what else will you have here? Anything? No, then we're in the top 10. I haven't, I have not heard of a lot of these individuals. My goodness, I have a lot to learn. But that's kind of the point. It's what I'm here for. And I feel like I learned a lot today. This is pretty good. Very good. Entertaining, fascinating, amazing individuals. Uh, this was good stuff. I'm glad I found this little 100, 100 Greatest Britons list in the top 10. It's good stuff. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Britain, British history, British culture, stuff about Britain that I've never heard about before or talked about before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.